Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to talk about lectures, what to do before, during and after the lecture. I often get questions about this and this isn't like my regular videos because this video is a collaboration with Mariana's study corner. I don't know if you already know her, but she has a study YouTube channel just like me. Her channel has a lot of study tips, her study methods and routines. So um, for more inspiration, you should definitely check that out. I will put a link to her channel and to her version of this video in the description box. Because Mariana and I both have different methods for note-taking during the lecture and we're both going to explain our methods to you and give the pros and cons so you can decide for yourself which method will be best for you and you can improve your um, study method that way. So let's get started! Before you go to the lecture, it's really important to be prepared for what is coming. When you're prepared for a lecture, you definitely get most out of the lecture. And note-taking is a lot easier, it's a lot easier to understand what the teacher is talking about. So it only has pros to prepare yourself for the lecture. So what I like to do to prepare myself is just read my book. Sometimes the professor tells you what to read and sometimes you have to figure it out on your own. And I explained this in a video before that I will link in the description box. Another thing you can do is use the PowerPoint if the teacher puts that on the school website before the lecture. Then you can just look at all the topics that are going to be discussed during that lecture so you are better prepared. I know there are students who like to summarize their books before the lecture, but I wouldn't recommend this because summarizing is a really time-consuming task. So if you summarize the whole chapter, you go to the lecture and then the professor tells you, okay, you don't need to study that, it's only a waste of your time. And if you summarize after the lecture, you've already seen your book twice, you've read it first and then you went to the lecture. So if you're going to summarize it, it's going to be a lot faster because you understand everything already you've seen it twice and it's not going to take a lot of time anymore next up what are you going to do during the lecture so during the lecture of course you should pay attention and I get a lot of questions from students who say that they fall asleep during the lecture and I have three quick tips to maybe fix that one did you get enough sleep last night try to get enough sleep so you won't be very sleepy during the lecture the second thing that can really make a difference are the people that are around you so if you always sit next to people who never pay attention who are always talking during the lecture and always on their phones of course it's going to be very hard for you to focus on the lecture but if you sit next to people who are really motivated and who really are focused and paying attention it's going to be a lot easier for you to pay attention as well and to really focus on what the professor is saying and taking notes and the third thing is about your mentality for example I have to travel two hours to go to school and when I'm at school when I take the effort to get out of my bed and to travel that long to go to school the lecture better be worth it I better learn something there so those are my quick tips to not fall asleep during the lecture. I like to type my notes on my computer. I know a lot of students like to handwrite their notes, which is something I would do if I could write really fast because you remember everything a lot better and it gives you more possibilities. You can, for example, draw tables and things like that. I like to type my notes really quick on my computer and it has three big pros. First of all, it's really quick. Second, you have a very good overview of all the notes that you took and Third, you don't need to worry about your handwriting because I know a lot of people come to me like, okay, I always have a messy handwriting when I'm taking notes, but if you type your notes, you don't have that problem. A con can be that you might type too much. So that's why the preparation is also really important. So if you know that something the professor is telling is already explained in your book, you don't need to type notes for that. Try to only take notes on things that are important, otherwise you will have way too many notes at the end of the semester and you will have to study all of those notes. 
Last but not least, what are you gonna do after the lecture? So I like to print my notes when I come home and I like to keep a little space on the right side so I can write extra notes down. I just read my notes and annotate them, highlight them and write extra things that I remember from the lecture but also things that I remember from my book or if I have to draw something. For example, for economics I have to draw a lot of tables so I do that on that right side of my paper. Something I wouldn't recommend to do when you come at home is rewriting your notes and this for two reasons. The first reason is that it's going to take you way too much time. I mean, you can spend that time on other things. Another reason why you shouldn't rewrite your notes at home is because you can remember the notes you actually took in the lecture a lot better than the notes that you rewrote at home. Because you wrote the notes during class in a certain way, there's a certain overview there and if you're going to rewrite your notes, you're going to destroy that overview. So you associate that overview with the lecture. So if you read your notes from the lecture, you're going to remember certain things from the lecture and it's going to be a lot easier to remember. While if you rewrite your notes, you won't make that link. So it's going to take even longer to study it afterwards. So another thing that I like to do is use the PowerPoint that I mentioned earlier to fill up my notes, to write extra things down. And the last thing that I like to do if I have some time left or if there are some parts that I found really hard, I like to summarize it and I do summarize on paper because I don't know, paper gives you a lot more possibilities to write down your sentences exactly the way you want and I feel like I can remember it a lot better if I write on paper. That's why I prefer writing on paper rather than typing notes on my computer. I've made a whole video about tips to summarize it, I will link in the description box below. And yeah, that's it. So that's what I do before, during and after the lecture. I hope you found this video helpful and that you can take parts out of this method and use it to improve your own method. And uh, make sure to watch Mariana's version of this video as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.